Hey guys, what's going on? It's Panthorn here. Welcome back to another video today, guys. Um, welcome back to another GTA video. And as you guys heard from the from the title, we are gonna be um today. I'm gonna be going through the premium edition of GTA. If you guys don't know what I mean by premium edition, I mean I'm talking about that pack that is ten dollars, and th and that th that you can buy in GTA to like help the beginners and all that sort of stuff because. Because some people not, might not know what this pack is for and what and how much is how much is it worth worth it for. So that's all that I'm just gonna be talking about that about that today, guys. And I might muck up my sentences might muck, muck up my sentences again because um, I didn't point. I just planned this video out like a five like about five minutes ago. I didn't point how I was gonna say things. So yeah. But anyway, guys, we're just gonna go into it and. We're gonna go in with the premium edition and yeah, so make sure you stay tuned. Also subscribe to the channel and like like and subscribe to the channel. Um also turn on notifications so you never miss another video because hear me out guys, I won't just be doing these type of videos about how I'm just gonna be talking about stuff. Um pretty soon I am gonna be doing um pretty pretty soon I will be doing some chapter two season two Fortnite videos. In chapter two, season two. Um, so make sure you don't miss out on that. Just make sure you subscribe and yeah. But yeah, today, guys, since I didn't really plan out much, we just I decided to make a review on the premium edition pack in GTA Five. Now here's the thing, guys. So let's get started. This pack costs ten dollars. If you were to purchase this pack in GTA Five, um, this pack will cost ten dollars, and this thing can get you a ton of stuff. Like this thing can give you. A lot of stuff for free, like cars. It can give you a chopper. It can give you, basically, a lot. Some. It can give you some stuff. No, it can't give you everything though, which is the thing. So, yeah. Um. But it is pretty good. Also, it does give you some cash as well. But we'll get to the cash in a minute. Um. Yeah. Um. Also, if okay, but there's actually another way to get it, and that is getting the premium edition. And that is getting the the um premium edition GTA 5, the GTA 5 premium edition, which basically means that you get the premium edition with the with GTA 5, which means which means that it will come with a code, so that way so we can use that code to get the premium edition for free, and that's what I've got. That's what I got. If you guys didn't see my um, uh, what's it? If you didn't if you guys didn't see my game collection video, where basically I um. Showed you guys all my games. Uh, the X one of my Xbox One games was a GTA 5, was a GTA 5 game on, X on Xbox One, and it said Premium Edition. Yeah, I'm talking about that. Yeah, if you get the if you get the that that GTA 5 where it has like Premium Edition written on the top of of the case, uh, that means you'll get with that you'll get the manual for GTA. You'll get a map of Los Santos. That's right. This map, the GTA map, which is Los Santos and Blaine Country, and you'll also get a redeem code for the Premium Edition pack itself. So that means you can get it for free. Uh, but if you didn't get this edition, then you have to pay for it. But it's only ten bucks. However, there's a new pack that did came that did come out, but it costs like forty bucks. So I'm not. I forgot what the pack was called, but apparently it's supposed to be like the same as this pack, but it doesn't. It gives you like different stuff. But yeah, we'll get into that in a sec. Anyway, so now let's talk about the premium edition pack itself and why, why, it, and how, how much is it worth, and why is it worth the worth getting it, and what do you get in it? So I would be, so first of all, I'll talk about what, what. I'll first of all, first we'll just talk about how much is it, like how is it worth buying it. We'll just talk about is it worth is it. Is it something that's worth buying? Well, here's the thing. It actually is. The premium edition pack is worth buying. Um, those of you that, and I think it will be worth buying for those of you that are like beginners, like you know, like bots, people that are, which are basically people that are bad at the game that are like they're like broke, they haven't got a house, they haven't got any cars, they just steal cars on the street. I talk about those kind of people or people that have just started playing GTA. That the premium edition pack is worth for those type of players. People, players that have been playing for like ever since GTA 5 first came out, or at least halfway through GTA 5's life, 
or you, you basically know what I mean. They, the, then, it, so if people have been playing from, but if people have been playing from the start of GTA 5 to like halfway through GTA 5, then I don't think the pack would be really worth. I don't think the pack would be worth buying. I don't think those guys will should buy the pack because they've been playing for so long and they would they would have like over like. 20 million dollars or maybe 30 million or something like that maybe even more but because since they've been since since they've been playing for such a long time they don't really need they don't really need the pack because they've like got all their stuff they got a press mark twos they literally don't need it but if you're like a beginner like me i started playing gta 5 on christmas then the the premium edition pack is for you because literally this thing is does give you a couple of stuff i'm about to get into that in a sec um, we're about to get into that in a sec, um, which gonna, I'm gonna have to, like, leave my apartment here. Um, also, guys, um, this is, by the way, this is the apartment I bought in, um, that, in my last video. That, yeah, this looks like a good apartment. Anyway, move, moving, going back to, um, what we were saying. So, yeah, I think it, I think the premium edition pack would, would be worth buying. Um, but I, I think only people that have just started playing the game or that have a, like that that need money should buy this pack. But if you like those guys that have been playing ever since GTA came out, like halfway through GTA 5's life, then I don't think the, I don't think the pack is for I don't think it's the pack is for those guys. The pack is for people that have just started playing or like about the game. Not like me because obviously um as you guys saw in my last video, I spent all my money. I had like just over three million dollars. I was able to get that money, some of that money back, but I'm saving up for the Deluxo, and this is how much progress I made. As you can see, I ma I made just almost, I made almost 1.3 million, which is actually pretty good. But I'm still, it's still got way, way, still got, I'm still like, I still need like a couple of bucks. I still need a lot of money. I'm still like far, far off the Deluxo, so let's just go with that. All right, so now that now that's it about how how it's about how is it worth it of buying it? Um, I don't think that makes sense, but anyway. Um, now we're gonna now I'm gonna go through the things that I can like that I that you can get in it. So we're gonna go we're gonna go I'm gonna show you guys those vehicles right now. Um, now the now this involves like a couple of websites. Um, obviously I'm just gonna show you guys these vehicles right now. I'm not gonna show you guys in my garage. So the first website we're gonna go to guys is Legendary Motorsport and. This pack can actually get you f not one, not two, not three, not four, but five cars for free. That's right. You can get this pack will allow you to access five cars in this website, and it will allow you to get those five cars for free. So let's go in. So yeah, now what we do, we need to sort by price, and as you see, um, this car here. If you guys see, so if you see this and this car. This the Ennis right here, guys. See this car that I'm like circling around. This car here that my um that the fingers on that the um hands on. That that this car here is not a part of the pack, even though it's even though it's free. The one you can tell if it's from the premium edition pack if they have if they have like this dollar sign symbol on it. So yeah, so this one's not a part of it. These ones, however, are. So we've got uh, five cars. We've got the Ennis Huntley Ennis Huntley S, which is the slowest car of all of them. We've got the Invent Inventoro, I think it's called. Yeah, the Inventoro. We've got the Bra Bravado. We've got the Bravado, Bravado or something. We've also got the Ennis, and the best the Ennis as the Ennis Windsor, I think. Yeah, Ennis Windsor. And then the best out of all, f out of all five of them is the, and then the best one, the Turismo R, which is the Turismo R is actually f the fastest out of all five of these vehicles. Literally, it's the fastest out of all of them. In fa it's the fastest free car you can get out of all those five cars there. Apart from this one, this one's not a part of them, but it's still not as fast as Turismo. The Turismo R is actually pretty good. In fact, I'll show you guys that right now. We'll just go to my garage. We'll just gotta go into different garages. Just give me a second. Just gotta find the front door. We'll go to that right now, and um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'll just show you guys the car. So yeah, you can you can actually have a closer look. Um, I'm gonna have to go around the front though. 
Um, and then we'll get into the other t other websites. So, I'll show you guys the cars I've got. So, we might have to go into different garages. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I've got none of the cars on this on this four, except for one. But that that the car the car that's on the car, there's a car on this four here, that's not from Legendary Motorsport. But I'll show you that later. Um, but there's one in, um, I'll show you guys my Turismo R first, which is on a separate four to the other four. I think I said four to the other four, but anyway. Yeah, so as you guys can see, there is the Turismo over there. As you guys can see, it's right next to my Zentorno. And also, yeah, I've got the Zentorno. I decided to, um, I decided to get the Zentorno because, um, nah, why not? I mean, it's the only supercar I can afford, but yeah. So yes, this is the Turismo R. This is what it looks like in real life. Um, it just looks, it, now here's the thing, it doesn't come with the spoiler that I just put that on there, it doesn't look like this, um, it will, it will come in any color you want and it's like not upgraded, so you have to like upgrade yourself. Oh, and just be clear guys, when you, once you get the, those free vehicles, you cannot upgrade them for free. That's right, just because they're free, it doesn't mean you can upgrade them for free, so don't knock yourself out and just go buy everything in the, um, Los Santos Customs. Just, just, just to warn you guys, okay? Just don't do it. Um, but yeah, still pretty good. This car, this car is actually pretty fast. Because if I was to do this, it's got over four bars. It's got over four. It's got like four bars of top speed. I think it's, that, that's because I upgraded the engine. But it's also got top speed. I'm pretty sure the regular top speed would be... I think it would be about just four bars. Four full bars. I'm pretty sure. But yeah. Anyway, that's the Turismo R. Let's go look at the four other vehicles. And then the other vehicles I got on the other websites. We're not going to go look at those because obviously you guys know what I mean. You guys will know what I mean. Uh, and then we'll show you guys the other four I've got, which is in this one. So just hang tight. Actually, also in fact, this is actually a full garage, I think. Yeah, it is. Full garage. Yep, it's a full garage. So... As you see, you can already see two of them here. We, this is one of the free cars here, and then there's another free one, and then the and then this car here is free. This car here was from um, Legendary Motorsport, and it was that it's this car is that other free car that you guys saw that did not have the dollar sign on it. Yeah, so this car doesn't really count as the premium edition, uh, but this car does. This car here does. So yeah, this car here does count. Um, this was the wait, wait, let's just check. Yes, yeah, so this is the this is the NS Huntley S, as you guys can see. We've got the NS Windsor right there. We got the Bravado Bravado right there, and we got the Inf Invent Inventero. I think yeah, it's hard to pronounce that name. Uh yeah, and then obviously guys, these other vehicles that you see in my garage. These vehicles here, basically, guys, in this garage, are literally like all the, every vehicle in this garage except for one of them. I got for free. The only one I didn't did not get f that one. The one I had to pay for was this one at the front here. This is the Turismo Classic, and it was seven. I think it was seven hundred and five thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, not really worth it. But yeah, so that's all my other cars that you guys saw there. That's all my other. That's the four other free cars you can get. Alright, so that is, those are the five cars from Legendary Motorsport. Now we're going to go look at some more cars. And I might need to get my oppressor for this because we're going to go for a drive. So with, so you can also get vehicle. Now these vehicles are not... Now when we show you guys these vehicles, um... Now these vehicles that I'm going to show you guys, um... We're not going to go drive to them because I don't want to make this video go for too long. But yeah. So... Just remember, guys, it's only the vehicles that have the dollar signs on them. If you see other vehicles that have, like, sale, sale, sale of zero dollars, don't. That they aren't part of the premium edition. Only the ones that have, like, the dollar sign on them. So, as you see, um, in, on the Southern San Andreas website, you can see you can get the Western Zombie Chopper, Chopper for free. You can also get the Pegasi Vortex for free. So, you get that's two motorcycles. And you can also get yourself a livery car for free. It's actually a small one, the, which is Obey Ominous. Ominous, which is pretty cool. This car is actually pretty fast for for that size as well. It's pretty fast. Don't don't get me wrong. It's actually it's like really fast. So yeah. 
So yeah, this car is kind of worth getting, to be honest, just be clear, and I think it's worth buying as well, but... And then, as you see, yeah, this website, you can get, like, a ton of livery cars. I actually go, I've actually owned every single livery car, especially the Dukes. This is the, the, the Dukes is basically, like, a non-upgraded version of the Duke of Death. But, yeah. So, yeah, that is Southern San Andreas. You can get three vehicles for free in this website, five for free in this website. Now, you guys are probably wondering, can you get anything, can you get any vehicles for free in, can the Premium Edition get you anything for free in Warstock? Well, guess what, guys? Yo, guys, I think I'm glad. Just I'm glad that you said that because you you actually can you you actually can get something for free in Warstock with the Premium Edition. So we just got sold by price. So as you guys can see here, that you can actually you can obviously see that the Marshall and the Duke of Death is for free. But then, but like I said, that they don't have the dollar sign on them, so they're not a part of the um the Premium edi Premium Edition. But however, the Dune FAV right here, the Dune FAV right here is, the Dune FAV is a part of the Premium Edition pack, which means you can get that for free, which is pretty cool. And it's actually like really cool. But I'll show you guys this vehicle in a sec. Um, yeah, so this vehicle is actually a war vehicle because here's the thing. Actually, no, I'll go show you guys this vehicle right now, which got goes with so. I'll show you guys the Dune FAV. I have it in my garage somewhere. I think it's this one. Uh, this is the um, this is the only war stock vehicle. This is the only war stock vehicle you can get for free with the premium edition. So yeah, so here's the Duke of Death. There's the Karuma. I got that for like over. I think I got that for over six hundred, over six hundred thousand dollars, for sure. But here it is. Here is the Dune FAV. This is what it looks like. So as you see. As you see, this is a um a war buggy basically because if you guys look on the passenger seat, you can see that the passenger the the passenger driver gets to you guys can see that the per, the per, the player in the passenger seat is has access to this LMG here, which means that that means it, say if you were to drive you were driving the vehicle, you can just go ahead and pick up one of your friends. Pick up one of your friends. They can sit in the passenger seat and they can use this LMG, and they can just shoot it at any. They can just shoot it at any players, any NPCs. They can even shoot it at the cops because this thing, this LMG isn't really. However, it's not that powerful though. But still, it's pretty cool to have an LMG, and it's even it's actually pretty cool rather than just using your wasting your ammo on your gun. So, I'm glad that this this thing has like a gun on it that you can use. Uh, the, however, these two cars here, the Karuma and the Duke of Death, they don't have any guns attached to them. So, but this is the only car I own that has the, a gun attached to it. And the Oppressor, obviously, that you saw from the last video, obviously does have guns on it. I, I've actually got missiles on it, by the way. So yeah, yeah, that is the Dune FAV. So yeah, so that means you're gonna have. So at least you're gonna have one special vehicle, the Dune FAV. Good, good, good thing for you guys. So you're gonna have five cars, actually six cars. One's gonna have a livery. You have two motorcycles, and you're gonna have one car with a LMG on the sides, on the passenger side. So that's pretty cool for you. Um, the next steps that we're gonna look at, guys, that you can, the next thing you can get for free, guys, is in the Elitist website. That's right, you can get yourself a. And what I'm saying, guys, is that you can get yourself a free chopper from this website. So all you have to do is just sort by price again. And it's not the dodo. This one doesn't have the dollar sign, but you can actually get yourself. You can actually get yourself the the premium edition can actually. The premium edition allows you to also get the Frogger for free, and the Frogger is right here. As you see, it's a chopper. I've got the Frogger personally. I think you guys should know what the Frogger looks like, so I don't have to like call it in. But yeah, this is what the Frogger looks like, as you guys can see. Pretty, it's a pretty cool. It's it's basically a it's. It's a basic chopper, which means that he doesn't have any guns attached to it, so... But it's still cool to have an air vehicle. At least you'll have your, like... At least you'll have your personal air vehicle, though. That's pretty cool. Also, guys, the Dodo right here actually own this vehicle as well, so... Yeah. Um, but yeah. So anyway, the Frogger... Uh, you can get yourself the Frogger for free with this, the um, premium, edi premium Edition. So yeah, at least... So that means you'll have a war vehicle, six cars, two motorcycles... And a chopper, which is pretty cool. So yeah, you're lucky. Now I'm pretty sure that's all of the um, I'm pretty sure that's all of the vehicles that you can get. Sadly, so that means you can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can get yourself 
nine vehicles. You can get yourself nine vehicles with this pack. Now, here's the thing. This, you got this on, you do have this dock website, guys. But the sad thing about this is that you can't get anything for free in on this website because none of the water vehicles on this website are a part of the premium edition sadly so you, yeah you yeah so sadly you still have to pay for a boat and all that so it's pretty upsetting but yeah it's pretty upsetting but if if you're to wait you can get the submarine for free but yeah um anyway um now what also guys the arena war vehicles you cannot get any vehicles for free in here as well because if I was to scroll down, yeah, you can't get anything for free, sadly. Especially if they're, like, armored and that, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so... It sucks, but... It's pretty cool, though. Anyway, moving on from that, um... Alright, guys, now there are some apartments that you can get. Or, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into money and services. Now, what do you wanna do, guys? So, here's the thing. You can get two houses for free. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, um, drive to these houses, so let me just call in my oppressor. I'm just gonna, like, call in my oppressor. Actually, no, I might call the mechanic, because um, I might call in the wrong vehicle. Uh, what I'll do, I'll just call the mechanic for my oppressor, so we can actually get over there quicker. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. You're through to your garage. You, uh, need me to bring you a ride? And... This one, okay. Okay, guys, I'm just calling my oppressor, so that way you can get over there a bit quicker. Um, yeah, so, that, yeah, so, guys, they're, they guys, the guys are actually pretty lucky on what, of what, of what, of, um, for, if you get, you guys will be pretty lucky when you get this pack, because not only you'll get, like, nine vehicles, but you can actually get yourself a house, not on, and not just, and also not just a house, you'll also get yourself, you'll be able to get yourself a house, uh, an apartment, for free, you can get yourself an apartment for free, and you can also get a 10, 10, spa 10 car space garage. A 10 car space garage, that's right. I'll show you that in a sec after I show you guys this house. So, basically guys, um, the house that you can get for free, I just gotta go to it. Um, I, hope I, just, I just hope I remember where it was. I hope I remember where this thing was, otherwise, um, otherwise, otherwise I can't show you where it is. So, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's over here somewhere. So this house, this guy, this house I'm gonna show you guys is an apartment that you can get for free. So it's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure it is not here. All right, guys, we're here. So the apartment, guy, so the apartment that you can get for free, guys, is this apartment right here. This is the apartment you can get for free. Sadly, the only sad thing about this apartment is that it's only a two, it has a two-car space garage. So, which means if you were to buy like about four vehicles. You can sell, sell, you can only fill like two of them in and then you have to like get rid of the other four. Unless you have yourself, you, unless you can get like another garage. But uh, yeah, but here's the thing. Look no further. There's actually, you can actually purchase another thing. For, you can actually, the, the premium edition can actually get you something else for free. And that is a 10 car space garage. That's right. It's not an apartment. It's a garage. However, this garage is actually like a bit further away from is like far far away from this house so you do have to like travel all the way over there just to like get your vehicles but at least you, but here's the thing i wish you can put 10 vehicles in this garage now actually so guys as you see on my mini map you guys can actually see the garage logo on there which means i do own this garage so and i do already have some vehicles in it i'm not going to go inside of it though so we're just going to go to it i'll show you guys what it looks like so that way you guys know well so that way you guys can know where it is. So that way you guys know what it looks like when I um, see it. So yeah, it's just down over here a bit further. This video is gonna go for a bit longer than I expected, but yeah. Um but yeah, so coming over here, um you're gonna see that the garage that you can get for free with the premium edition. And I and in fact I can actually see it from here right now. I can't see I can see it from here. I'm just gonna get to it. Alright. So. Okay, we're almost there. Alright. So, guys, the, the garage that I'm talking about, the garage that you can get for free, is this 
is this garage here. That's right. You can purchase this garage here for free. You can tell it's this garage because there's a blue circle right there, and that means I earn, that means I own it. So yeah, and this this garage here is a ten car space garage. And if you guys don't believe me, if you guys don't believe me, I will go inside. So just watch this. So we're gonna go inside the house. Go inside. This is only a garage, okay? It's not an apartment, but at least you have yourself like about ten cars in here. As you guys can see, yep, this is a ten car space garage. And yeah, so this these are all my cars. These are actually like rare cars, by the way. But we'll, I'll, I'll wait. I'll talk about this next next video. But anyway, yeah. So not only you have like an apartment that has a two car space garage, but you'll also be able to get a ten car space garage for free. So yeah, that is the apartments. Now, guys, there's another thing that you can get for free. There's a couple more things. There's like three more things that you can get for free. And the act and these things are usually pretty expensive. So what you want to do, you want to go on to Dynasty A Executive. And basically what and basically on this website is basically this is a website where you can basically get like about this is a website where you can basically get like Maze Bank apartments, like office This is this is where you can get like your Maze Bank offices. So I've already got a Maze Bank office next next to my house. You guys know that white building that was next to my house, my that black house? That there's one of the offices. So there's this office right here. This is one of the offices. And then there's like the tallest off, the biggest office in the website. And it's this one. The, Ma the Maze Bank Tower here is the tallest building in the game. So you can literally get yourself the tallest building. As well as a really, really big garage. So yeah, you're going to have like a giant office. And you're, normally the offices cost like a lot of money. So yeah. And finally guys, not only that but you can actually get yourself some yeah you can, get, you can actually get some stuff for free in maze bank for closures which basically you can get like motorcycle clubs and motorcycle clubs I'm not sure about facilities uh motorcycle clubs bunkers i'm not sure what else you can get but you can get like a ton of stuff or even your own even your own hangers i'm pretty sure these are hangers right yeah you can also get yourself some hangers as well now sadly you cannot get any hangers for free which which sucks. I actually get myself this hanger right here. So yeah, um, here's one of the hangers. These are the two hangers down here. Oh, I did not mean to exit that website. Uh, you cannot get any. Uh, also, you cannot get any facilities as well. You can't get any facilities as well. Sadly, you can't get any facilities for free. The only things that you can get for free is a motorcycle club and a bunker. But the, hey, 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 that's still pretty good because a motorcycle club would cost like over a million and a bunker is def is definitely over a million. So here's the bunker here's the bunker right here that I've got. This is the bunker here. As you see. It's far it's the only problem about this bunker is that you have to travel so far away. This bunker is all the way up in Polito Bay, so you have to like go all the way up to Polito Bay just to get into the bunker but hey, at least you get at least you get a bunker for free. This thing usually costs a lot of money. And then the motorcycle club, um, I don't really use my motorcycle club, but I do own it though, so, yeah, there it is, it's right here, yep, motorcycle, or it's a great, carapella, capara, capara, cup wow, so it's basically a motorcycle club, so yeah, and I think that's, yeah, I'm not sure if you can get for anyth anything for free on this website, nah, this is nothing, so, yeah, I think that's it you can get for free. There's nothing about there's nothing else about these websites, but yeah. Alright guys, and that is it for the video. That is literally everything you can get from free. Now there's one more thing that you can get, and this is the best thing they can get. This pack, once you purchase this pack, you will get a million dollars on your GTA account for free. That's right, you will literally get a million dollars sent straight to your Maze Bank account. Which is epic. Which means you'll get that means you'll have a million dollars. But, but that means you have like a million dollars or over a million dollars on your account, which is pretty cool. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. This video is going for like almost 30 minutes, but I'm just going to upload this anyway. That's it. That's, and that is everything you need to know about the, um, that is everything you need to know about, oh, wait, someone was in the game. Shit. Oh, freak. Someone was in the game while I was doing the video. I didn't mean to. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that is everything you need to do about the um, premium edition pack and it seems pretty good so make sure you purchase that at some point because you're going to get a ton of good stuff out of this anyway guys also 
anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed make sure you make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace out